This is Angel. She fell in love with Tyler. Good morning. Everything was just so smooth when we first started dating. Like, everything just flowed together. But Angel's friend Sam was about to change everything. We were just kind of vibing. Me and Angel started making out, and Tyler was like, okay, whatever. And then we decided to go back to the condo, and things progressed from there. Even though Angel and Tyler were engaged, Sam joined their relationship as their girlfriends. And when their families found out, things turned ugly. My cousin was going to be a groomsman, and he called me and drops out of my wedding because of my lifestyle. And his mom pulled our flower girl out. Most of the extended family, we don't really talk to them anymore. And today, the couple will learn what one of their closest friends really thinks. We're going to meet up with our buddy Jason. He replaced our flower girl who was pulled from our wedding. Were you surprised when I told you I was going to be in a thruple? I'm Angel. I'm Tyler. I'm Sam. We are a thruple, a polyamorous closed triad. What that means is we all three date and we're all three exclusive to each other. We've been together just over four years and all three of us have been dating just over a year. So after three years, that's when Sam joined us. So Tyler and I actually had matched on Tinder and then about two years later, he had swiped on my Snapchat story and said, oh my gosh, you're so cute or something like that. Hey, what's up? <laughs> pretty much sliding in my DMs and we kind of just reconnected and then pretty much been together ever since. Everything was just so smooth when we first started dating. Like It just seemed like everything just flowed together. We didn't really have issues, we didn't have problems. How did you meet these two? Me and Angel, we met in college. She was actually my first girl kiss, so that was pretty interesting. And I never expected us to be where we are today. So we went to a music festival in 2019, and we were just kind of vibing. Me and Angel started making out. And Tyler was like, okay, whatever. And then we decided to go back to the condo, and things progressed from there. I was honestly shocked when they asked me the first time to date. We were a little drunk and then they said, hey, uh, so do you want to be our girlfriend? And I was like, let's talk about it in the morning. You know, when we're sober, make sure that y'all are being serious. And uh, they said, so, uh, about last night. I said, oh, so y'all were being serious. <laughs> we all tried to date for maybe a week, I think. Yeah, the first time was about a week uh, long. With the transition from couple to thruple on pause, Angel and Tyler's relationship showed no signs of slowing down. October of 2020 is when I proposed. But the newly engaged couple were soon dated Sam again. We were at the zoo. <laughs> we were in the photo booth and Angel asked, so do you want to be our girlfriend? And once we uh, got out of the photo booth, I said, well, my answer is yes, by the way, you know, just in case you didn't know. <laughs> And now that she was officially their girlfriend, Sam moved in with Angel and Tyler. This is our bedroom. We do all sleep in this bed. Uh, we need a bigger bed. <laughs> and it wasn't just lack of space that caused friction as the couple adjusted to new dynamics. At first, I was getting jealous seeing Tyler and Sam together because I was selfishly only thinking about my needs, only me and Tyler, only me and Sam. So it was very difficult for me to see them together. At first, it was a lot of work. With three people, that was probably our biggest thing was learning how to communicate. Are there rules in your relationship? I don't really like that term. I don't like rules. Just some safeguards, I suppose. Whenever it's bedroom time, we kind of put the question out there for anyone. I'm in or am I out? I'm out, like, and so. Hey, you down? Cool, so me too. So whoever wants to goes in the bedroom and then the other person like comes out here and like cleans or like watches TV or does something else. Like it's, it's super open. Having worked through their initial obstacles, the thruple began posting about their relationship on TikTok and soon built up a following. But there was still an elephant in the room. How my family found out was through our TikTok channel. My aunt is actually the one who saw it first and sent it to my mom. And she told my mom that I was chewing and that I was in a relationship. And I said, well, good news, mom. I don't do and I'm not in a relationship. But yes, I do have a boyfriend and a girlfriend. 
and my parents are pretty ex accepting of it. And whilst Angel's family were much more relaxed. Mine found out from TikTok or Instagram, one of the two, but they were very accepting. The most dramatic reaction came from Tyler's family. A week before the wedding, my cousin was going to be a groomsman, and he calls me and drops out of my wedding because of my lifestyle. And his mom would pull our flower girl out, which is her daughter. My mom doesn't care. She's super supportive. My dad found out, and he's like, I don't care what you do. You're a grown man. You're doing your own thing. But most of the extended family, we don't really talk to them anymore. As far as conflict online, like haters and stuff, we just laugh. Like, it's so funny. <laughs> Some like kind of negative comments that we get are, I can't wait for the breakup video. This never works. Oh, I can never do this. It's called a couple for a reason. Well, we're a thruple, not a couple. And although the thruple's friends have mostly stuck by them, there are still things that have been left unsaid. We're gonna meet up with our buddy Jason. He replaced our flower girl who was pulled from our wedding because of our lifestyle. So in the aftermath of the wedding, will Jason turn out to be the supporter that they think he is? So, were you surprised when I told you I was going to be in a throuple? A little bit. I was more like uh, a man in that relationship going to love it because two women, <laughs> like, he's lucky. That's stereotypical. Yeah. I'm ashamed of you. <laughs> I'm ashamed of man. Two women, I mean, who, who wouldn't think that? I think a big misconception is that people feel like our relationship is less than me and Tyler, her and Tyler, because we're both females. A lot of people are so close-minded, they don't see a, a bigger picture of a relationship. One man, one woman. And anything else, it's not comfortable with them. Do you think your family will ever come around? No. <laughs> no. Not the not aunts. My family. Not the aunts. <laughs> not the oh, aunts. <laughs> So what is the next steps for you guys? Focus on our careers, for sure. Eventually get another house, probably here in Memphis. Probably propose to Sam in the next couple of years or so. I'm happy for you guys. All right, friend. Okay. See you next time. I think it's really cool that we got to kind of talk about our relationship. I thought it was really sweet that whenever I was talking about how whenever I first met you, you actually got teary-eyed. I didn't know that. Yeah, y'all are pretty special. That that's how soft I've made you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's just crazy how our friendship just kind of progressed into something completely unexpected. It's just been a lot of fun. Super awesome. Our relationship is... 10 out of 10 would recommend. <laughs> Most people are lucky that they found one person to love, but we're lucky enough that we found two.